Hey, what's going on everybody? Jason here. We're going to do an unboxing of the Penplax one, Cascade 1000. Um, I will not be showing this, setting this up on a tank as I still have to build the stand for my 75. So uh, you're going to have to wait a little bit for that video for now. This is just an, an unboxing. I've never had one of these. So uh, we'll unbox it and then I'll do some close-ups on it to show all the equipment. All right, looks like some instructions. Nobody needs that. Looks like we got some of our, our piping, our valves. Everything seems to be nicely bubble wrapped in here. Looks like we've got a T section of some foam. Don't need that. Um, looks like we've got our hoses. Oh, that's nice. These appear to be black. That's really cool. Um, I really like the Sun Sun canisters, but uh, they have transparent green hoses. These black ones, uh, they really keep the light out so you don't throw a lot of algae inside those hoses. Where's the other one? They don't seem to be too long, but that's, that's okay. Let me see how long this is. Well, I can tell you off the bat, one nice, these are already very flexible. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say these are about five to six feet, um, probably more like five feet, can't measure it right now. I do like these, these are nice and flexible. They're not too stiff, so um, you won't have to leave those in hot water very long to straighten them out. More instructions, and looks like the whole, there's a little canister comes out in the bag. Looks like we got some more equipment over here. And I'll tell you what, this is pretty cool. The whole canister came in the box with all this bubble. The whole thing is encased in this bubble material to uh, keep it from cracking, which is really nice. Okay, let's throw some trash out of here. Whoops. Well, but first, I'll tell you right off the bat one thing I just noticed is this nice little bugger. That's cool. I like that. The Sun Suns don't have that, so when you need to take this out of your aquarium stand to clean it, you got a handle to hold it. It is a little flimsy, I don't know how well that's going to hold. But uh, if it holds, it holds. Well, let's take a look at some of this stuff. These look like the valves that screw on. Looks like they've got some gasket in there. So it looks like inside of here, there is a rubber seal, which you're definitely gonna need. I'm not gonna screw these on too tight, just trying to get the feel of it. Looks like you got an on and off switch right here. That's kind of cool. So I guess, unlike the Sun Sun, this whole valve section doesn't come off. What you're gonna have to do is you turn off the hose and then unscrew these with the hose attached and then take this to the sink or wherever to clean it and it looks like you got your black one here cool those seem to work pretty good i watched a couple of videos where people complained about this plastic uh i don't think it's too bad i mean it's not crazy industrial plastic but it doesn't uh, it doesn't seem too bad okay this appears to be the intake oh wow look at that telescoping telescoping intake that's pretty cool seems to be very very snug in there This doesn't seem to hold on very well, but whatever. 
That's kind of cool. I like that. And it looks like we got a bag of suction cups in here. Wow. Man, they did not skip on our construction cup. Holy crap. We got two, four, six, eight suction cups. Uh, that's pretty cool. Ugh. Smells like crazy rubber. I like it. Uh, what is this? What is this thing right here? Um... I'm going to assume this is some kind of spare seal to something. I'm not exactly sure what this is right now. But I will look at the instructions here in a minute. We always look at instructions last. That's the last thing you do. Know. So we got our intake right there. A whole bunch of suction cups. Some mystery seal. I'm going to assume this is going to be the, in, the uh, return. Not the outtake, whatever you want to call it. All right, so there's your outtake, which can swivel. And then it looks like, oh, look at that. Looks like we got an attachment here for directional throw. I uh, like that's kind of cool. Ooh, look at that. So you can swivel that. That's pretty cool. I like that. I'll probably use that. But then you've got about four pieces of spray bar. This plastic feels pretty good. I'm, I'm a little impressed. This plastic seems to be a little bit better than the Sun Sun. It's definitely, definitely more flexible or uh, more solid. I'm gonna say. So you got four spray bar pieces here, but I think I am just gonna use this. Um, all right, drop my flashlight. And it still works quality flashlight so that's pretty cool I, I actually really like that that's cool you can kind of twist this and aim it different ways you can have it really like shoot up above the water if you want um, but I think I think I'm gonna use that I don't think I'm gonna use a spray bar but let's kind of move this stuff aside I will do a close-up on all this okay well let's open this up I really like having that handle on there, that's pretty cool. Put that aside here for a second. Looks like we got our top trays. These are actually pretty small, but uh, this is definitely a lot smaller the inside than uh, the Sun Suns I had, but you've got three trays. This will be more than enough to do what I need it to do. Yeah, so you've definitely got about a quarter inch of space between these baskets and the side of the canister. However, if these baskets are put together properly, I don't think that's going to matter. All right, looks like it came with some filter pads. Actually, this is just one big thick filter pad Looks like we got a big old bag of carbon, which I actually probably will use this at first to help the water clear up. We got another mechanical filter pad. Oh, we got more mechanical filter pads. That's three. And nice. And a big old sponge mechanical filter pad. That's cool. I like that. This you can always reuse. I will definitely put this at the bottom. Okay, so we got three trays. Man, this all smells pretty funky. I kind of like how it's clear. That's kind of cool. So you can, you know, you can kind of see how dirty it's getting. I don't know if you're going to be able to tell just by looking at it, but you could easily like shine a flashlight in there and, and uh, and give it a look to see. Okay, so I figured out what this little mystery seal is. That is actually that is actually a spare seal. 
of this right here that comes off. That's just an extra one. That wheel, that actually seals around this hole in one of your trays. That's pretty cool. That is the water coming from your tank. So that is sealed to the tray to go all the way down to the bottom. Now, as far as water bypass in this, uh, yes, it's true, it's not as bad. I will show you in a close up. When you take this top tray off, there's definitely about a quarter inch of space. And I'm gonna say an eighth inch to a quarter of space around the trays all the way to the bottom. And that will allow all this water to come up along the sides. However, once you put this on, this kind of blocks all of that. It's not perfect. It's, there's no rubber seal or anything, but it's definitely gonna hold a lot of that back. Okay, let's do some close-ups here for you, just so you can see this. The plastic on this, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you right off the bat, pretty much everything on this does feel a little bit better quality than the Sun Sun. And, and that, and I'm talking this, this type of plastic and the hoses, um, these and the canister. Um, actually, this is a little bit more flimsy. I don't know, actually this is pretty thick. I like the trays are actually pretty thick and sturdy. They're not flimsy. Um, gosh, you got all kinds of suction cups. Here's these valves. You can actually see in there. Let me shut it. Whoop. So that's cool. This sponge is actually, I really like this. I'm definitely going to use this at the very bottom and then we'll go to fine and then I'll put some carbon on top of that. Where is, let's see if I can not break this. Looks like we've got our primer, our handle. Yeah, I know, I got quite the mess here. This is inside canister, nice transparent blue. I think that's pretty cool. And these are, you know, these aren't, this isn't that big. If you look at the size of my hand of these trays, these are actually kind of small. But for, what, did it, what was the price on this? 60, I think it was 65. Not bad. Definitely not bad. I think the quality is pretty cool. Let me see if I can show you the bypass area. So right now, if you look down, you can already see a small space. The tray will move around, right? But it's cool that this is transparent. You can actually look to see and make sure that your trays are seated properly. I like that, that's pretty cool. So we'll do Okay, another interesting thing I just noticed here, I had to stop. One thing I didn't like about the Sun Sun is when you stack these, the tubes didn't always really align. There was a lot of room for the water to go around this. If you look at it, you definitely have a little bit of a cone shape. And then you actually have that here. So that actually fits. If you stack this just right, stick your finger in there, there's almost a perfect seal. It's not perfect, but it almost is. That's pretty cool. So we'll stick all three of these in. Make sure it's kind of there. And then, so on the top here, you can definitely see there's about an eighth of an inch to a quarter space going around, right? So that's definitely going to let water bypass. But when you put this on, this goes all the way to the edge. You can see a little sliver there, a little one there. I don't think it's that big of a deal. I mean, if you wanted to get crazy, you could make yourself a seal to go all the way around and press it in or something. I. I don't think it's that big of a deal. You're going to get enough water coming through the media. And then that seal, which is underneath the head, right here, when you put that on, that slots right around that, which is pretty cool. I'm going to do a fake little mock-up here real quick. Okay, so this first tray, what we're going to do is we're going to put the black sponge first. 
it's on the bottom, and then we're gonna put two pieces of the mechanical filtration. And then both of these I'm gonna have filled up with Bio Home Ultimate Filter Media. I actually don't know how much I have left. I'm gonna fill up as much as I can with the Bio Home and the rest with Lava Rock. So those two will all be Bio Media. Okay, one of these trays, these trays are actually not heavy enough to push this down a little bit, so I had to, there's some Bio Home. I've broken them up each into, there we go. That'll definitely go down on there. there. Now that's heavy enough to seal. We'll put that inside. Lift both of them. Whoop! Whoa! Alright, that looks like those two are sealed. And then I'll put more bio home on there if I have enough. And don't worry, I will rinse and wash all of this completely. Okay, that's it, all snapped together. And the cool thing is, if you can see, you can shine a flashlight and you can make sure that that seal is around the tube of the first, or I'm sorry, the last tray. That rubber seal goes around it. Okay, I attached the in and out bulkheads. These do swivel, which is kind of cool, so you can angle your hoses. Got your priming pump. That thing's pretty tough. That seems to work good. It does have it labeled in and out. The one cool thing I think a lot of people will like is this. I mean, this thing comes with some serious detailed instructions. I'm going to assume that's the front and the back. I mean, holy crap, if you've never used one of these, this is definitely gonna help you out. And it looks like we got a little diagram here, drip loop, showing you that, which is really nice. I mean, it's crazy. Uh, I think I'll definitely read these and go over it just to make sure I operate this properly, but this is definitely thorough. Uh, Sun Sun, I don't think came with anything like this, so. This is pretty cool. All right, guys, that's the video. Uh, I tried to be as thorough as I could with this, um, other than lack of setting it up, which I will do later on once I get the stand built and the tank set up. But um, yeah, so far, pretty impressed with this for the price. It's at 65, I think I believe it was 65 bucks, but I had a $25 Amazon card gift card. So I got it for 40, which is even better. But so far, pretty impressed with this, at, at least by the hardware. It seems like it's really good quality. I like the fact that the hoses are black. Um, I like the handle on it. I like that it's transparent that you can see through if it really gets gunked up. Um, but, and it comes with a ton of suction cups, which is really cool. I like the adjustable, uh, the, uh, the output flow flap on there. You can kind of adjust where you want the water to go. And clear instructions, lots of instructions. So definitely a cool uh, canister filter. We will see how well this works though. Um, you know, it's kind of hard to eat, like tell. I mean, if, if, if you test your water parameters and they're fine, it's working. But you don't really know how much water bypass you're getting. I'm also am gonna have the two other HOBs on the tank. So there'll be plenty of filtration. I think it'll be fine. But I also like that this is very small. Uh, that will fit in my 75 gallon stand. Very easy, won't take up hardly any room at all. So uh, that's the video guys, thanks for watching. Just an unboxing, I will set it up in a later video when we get the tank running. Uh, click the subscribe, like the video. You guys take care, care out there and stay tuned for more videos on the setup of the 75.